Hi there, welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned, I was going to begin doing my book reviews again. Um, right now, there are just a few that I want to do, but if my reading increases to the pace that I hope that it will, I'm not so sure if I will do them on every book. But for now, I'll do them on a few. And I thought differently than the last couple of ones that I did. One was an individual book review and then another one, another handful were while I was working on a diamond painting. I thought I would uh, read the description of this book review. Now this is called The Other Mothers by M.M. Schuenard and it was, when, let's see, when was it released? Okay, it was released on the 20th and I have this going up on my blog as part of a blog tour tomorrow the 23rd. So why don't I read the uh, description to you and then I'll tell you my review. It says it's a crisp spring morning when the small town community around Briar Ridge Elementary School is shattered by devastating news. Bright and shy five-year-old Nicole has disappeared in playtime. Nicole's mother, Gia, is lost in her grief. On the same day her baby girl vanished, Gia found out she was pregnant with a sister Nicole had begged for. Gia is also devastated that her best friend, Karen, was supervising the playground when Gia was taken. And when Nicole's body is discovered, Gia can't help but ask, why didn't Karen protect her little girl? Someone knows what happened in the school that day, and Detective Joe Furnier is determined to find the truth. Joe's little nieces also attend Briar Ridge, and she would only, and she would cross mountains to keep them safe. As she starts to dig into the mother's secrets, she begins to wonder if anyone is telling the truth. Gia's been hiding a part of herself for years, and Joe can tell it's eating her apart. And Karen is definitely lying. But what's more important than finding the killer of her best friend's daughter? As Gia and Karen struggle with their guilt, a teacher at Briar Ridge dies in what looks like a tragic accident. But with two deaths in such a short time, Joe knows better than that. In this school where soccer moms flock with the flock the gates with cookies for teachers, someone is willing to keep a girl to kill excuse me. Someone is willing to kill to keep a secret. The only question is who? And then the uh, summary paragraph says a completely addictive thriller that will not let you go until you turn the last heart thumping page. Perfect for fans of Greg Olson, Christopher Grayson, and Teresa Driscoll. Okay, that was a rather long, long description. Um, I don't think in future reviews I'll actually read the publisher description. Because I'm looking at this and it's 3 minutes and 30, 30, 15 seconds and I think that's just a waste of time. So basically my review summarizes part of it is that Joe has a very difficult case. As the summary showed, a little girl was killed that goes to the school and her nieces also go to the school. So Joe has a huge job on her hands how to find the killer of this little girl while at the same time keeping her nieces and every other child that goes to that school safe. Now I'm not really going to refer to my notes so my comments here will be different than what you'll read on my blog if you go to my blog review. But basically it's playtime um, or recess at the school and uh, Joe, excuse me, Gia, the little girl's mother, okay, the girl that got killed, her name was Nicole, her mother's name was Gia. Well, Gia and other mothers volunteered for various things at the school. So one of the volunteers who happens to be Joe's best friend, Karen, her job that day was to supervise the children that were playing at the uh, during recess at the playground. Well, Karen was on duty when Nicole disappeared and was later found dead. So obviously Gia and Karen have a lot of friction that develops between them because Gia feels that Karen could be indeed responsible for Nicole's death. So Joe steps in as the lead detective on the case and with her team they have to interview the parents, other mothers, staff, and even possible child predators 
to try to determine what happened to this little girl. Now, Joe, as she starts to delve into this case, she starts to realize that there's much more to it than meets the eye. And she also starts to see some things about Gia that just don't add up. And then she also realizes that somebody is lying. At least one person is lying. So she has a lot in front of her to figure this out. And right in the course of her investigation, someone at the school dies. So now Joe has to determine whether the loss of the child and the loss of the teacher at the school are connected. And Joe's experience tell her indeed they are. Now, I've read a lot of thrillers. As a matter of fact, mystery, thrillers, suspense, cozy mysteries is right up there at the top with the favorite type of books that I like to read. And every thriller that I read has twists and turns, even rabbit trails along the way. Well, let me tell you, and of course I won't spoil it, the twist in this book I could have never guessed anywhere, maybe 75, 80, 85% into the book. I would have not guessed the twist that this book takes. So that's what I would like you to think about if you want to look at this book, The Other Mothers. I'd like you to think of whether or not you'll be able to ascertain what's going on in this book and what is the end result of, of the, what's going on. And so I found that this book was really, really good. I gave it four stars. I love M.M. Chouinard. This is the fourth book in the Detective Joe Furnier series. I read the first three books um, are The Dancing Girls, excuse me, uh, yeah, The Dancing Girls, and I will put up these uh, book covers, Taken to the Grave, and Her Daughters Cry. And so, Joe deals with very sensitive cases and in some cases they involve women, some cases they involve children, and they're always very, very good books. I've really enjoyed it. I've given an average of four stars for each book and I just wanted to throw this at the end of my review so that you can maybe go to your library or Amazon or what have you and grab the other books if they're interesting to you. So that's it for now. I will be back with more and like I said in future reviews I probably will not read the publisher's summary because it just took way too long. All right bye bye.